had the second of our outreach and engagement programs with the investor and uh, corporate community in Bahrain. We traditionally have chosen to have each of these every quarter. The first we had earlier in the year, and it was really focused on the financial laws in Bahrain, and it was to an audience of primarily lawyers, bankers, uh, and people involved in the financial services community. And we recently had our second, a couple of weeks ago, and it was a cross-section of businessmen, uh, bankers, uh, members of the business community. And we wanted to share with them some of the recent developments in the Bahraini uh, economy. Uh, we wanted to engage with them, to hear from them about the issues that they want addressed, and to allow us to share with them our plans for the future and sound them out. And the most recent discussion focused on four key areas that have occurred uh, in, in the Bahraini economy. The first was enhancing the business environment and the business environment for incorporation in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, recently, we've seen the reduction of the minimum capital requirement, allowing companies to set up with capital as low as 100 dinars. We've seen the introduction of sigillat that has simplified business registration for companies. They can do it online now. You can actually receive a certificate of a CR in minutes. And thirdly, there has been initiatives around uh, ease of doing business that have uh, shown Bahrain to be amongst the 10 most improved economies according to the World Bank Doing Business Report. The second area that we wanted to share with them is was around improving connectivity. What the country has done in terms of reducing the waiting times in the King Fahed Causeway, we now see average waiting times all the way from the port into the entry of Saudi, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to under 10 hours uh, at times. We've seen also um, introduction of new visas, uh, investor visas, uh, and the reduction in the visas for tourist short-term stays by 80%. And the third uh, element that was introduced was around improving openness. We see uh, substantial growth last year in the tourists that had entered into uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain, 12, uh, more than 12 million visitors. Um, we've seen that both the visas uh, issues that I introduced earlier uh, had an impact, but also plans that we have going forward to ease flows across the causeway should make, even, should make Bahrain an even better destination for travelers coming across the King Fahed Causeway. And the fourth element was around improving access to finance. We have seen in the recent past the introduction of the Bahrain investment market. This has allowed small companies to be able to list in what is a small capitalization market. We also uh, have seen in the areas of finance the introduction of a limited partnership law that would allow investment funds to be set up as general partner, limited partner structures. Uh, a trust law has also been introduced by the Central Bank of Bahrain and a protected sell companies law. Um, is also uh, has recently also been introduced that will help with the setup of investment funds. Going forward, we're very excited about some of the developments that we think will happen in the next couple of uh, months. I'll, this will be largely around um, the startup and the entrepreneurship uh, sphere. We uh, we know that the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, and Tourism is uh, will embark on the introduction of an insolvency law. This will help businesses, if they ever fail or have issues, to restructure and to return to the market in a healthy manner. This is standard in most of the developed economies in the world, and we think this will be a major development. We also shared uh, with the audience the plans uh, for the Central Bank of Bahrain to introduce a regulatory sandbox. This will help the development of financial technology firms, crowdfunding legislation, uh, by the Central Bank of Bahrain is imminent, will be introduced during the month of June and July. And we see all of these developments, plus plans to introduce accelerators and incubators in Bahrain. We have C5, we expect we will have one focused on uh, the Internet of Things, another focused on FinTech. All of these developments combined together make us very excited about the entrepreneurship and startup sector in Bahrain. We're hoping to continue our stakeholder and engagement program, our outreach program, uh, in the rest of the year. Uh, 
uh, hopefully in the third quarter we'll have uh, our third series um, in the year uh, that we'll share with the investor investment community and the business community uh, developments that have taken place over the last couple of months plus our plans for going forward so uh, I hope we can continue this series and hear from uh, again the business community about what we're doing right and what can be done better